The other day is a washout. As you can tell, she's a little sloppy. Got about two inches of rain last night, so. Ain't nothing to do but mess around the shop and get everything ready to go to work tomorrow. I'm gonna take the break off the, do uh, the dozer over there. Um, gonna be cutting down a house lot tomorrow, so. Don't need that, so I'm gonna take that off and get that loaded up here on the trailer, so. First things first is we gotta get some fuel so we can work tomorrow. We buy all our fuel in bulk. They come out here every two weeks and fill up the 500 gallon tank. That's on road. Behind the shop we have a thousand gallon tank for off road. Okay, it's green. We don't run red in our truck. So I'll fill this up. It's just an electric pump, hook it to a truck battery. So it don't take long when you're pumping 100 gallons out at the time. I'm going to get this filled up, get the truck turned around. Go ahead and get the rake off the dozer and we'll go ahead and get it loaded up. And I'll show you the proper way to chain the dozer down. Alright, alright, got the truck turned around here. Just makes it a little easier than to load facing downhill than uphill. Because once it's all wet and slimy and everything, it's kind of aggravating. Plus, it's a little more safer. The dozer won't try to slide off the trailer. Everything tracks all wet and muddy. Let's see if I can do this by myself. Yeah. Alright, those are down. And I'm going to come over here and start the dozer up and I'll go ahead and get this root rake taken off. No need to take it to the next job. We don't need it. She ain't been using about a month. They're getting a little rusty. Let's see if I got a key here. I ain't run this thing in about a month. I don't even remember what last job I used it on. For the best vision under the sun. Bossman forgets to put it in park. Probably should have checked the oil. It'll be okay. Now that I got the dozer turned around, I'm going to take out my pins. Yes, I know it's a nail. What happens when the bolt falls out on a job? You find the next best thing. It's the only thing that's in your truck, so you use it. Take that out. Sit that over here so we don't lose them for now. Go ahead and tap these pins out. Uh, kind of hard to do this one-handed here. In fact, let's just sit the camera down. pressure off of it. Let's see if I can get this one out. Just because I had something fall on me one time, I usually don't like to walk in front of stuff once I take it off. We'll just climb over the blade right here. 
Yeah, long story short, I was doing that with a root rake on a skid steer. It fell off and cut the end of my toe off. Yeah, so I don't, uh, I don't walk in front of stuff anymore. Learned my lesson the hard way on that one. load tags are on got my four corners flagged five points of chain down chain down all four corners and North Carolina state law requires you put something over the blade too like the blades gonna really raise up and do anything but they require it so chain over the blade flags marking the corners and the turbo saver is on that keeps any air from going in there while you're driving and spinning the turbo while there's no oil pressure on it and burning it up some people worry about it, some people don't. It doesn't take five minutes to put it on there. Well, five seconds to put it on there. That makes it easy. Ready to go. First thing in the morning, she's going to the job site. 